entertainers in the building. Yeah. Nigga. review I haven't done one in a while today it's kind of a cool early spring kind of day and uh, it's about to start warming up so I figured it would be a good day to do this particular fragrance and that is opium pour homme by Yves Saint Laurent um, now this is let me start off by saying this is an amazing fragrance and uh, those who have reviewed it have liked it but uh, it doesn't really get a lot of attention on YouTube so I'm gonna go ahead and try to spread the word this is a great fragrance if you are looking for something for winter um, now for me the kind of occasion you'd want to wear this um, this would work well for a date you know or any kind of uh, outing but it also I think this is certainly a good work day kind of fragrance um, now that being said, this is a strong smelling fragrance. It lasts a long time and you can offend people easily if you wear too much of this. Okay, so when I'm spraying this, I usually do one spray on the neck. Um, so it gets all, all the way around my neck, on my uh, the warmth of my neck, you know, the pulse points and all that. And I'll do one on the wrist and tap them together. All right, and uh, that usually does the trick. Um, it smells wonderful, um, but in excess, you can tick people off. This will this will cause allergies. If people don't like colognes, they will not like this. Um, and believe it or not, there are a lot of people out there that just don't like fragrances, perfumes, colognes, and uh, some of them that annoy get annoyed when you wear too much. So be easy on the trigger with this. Less is more. It's always better when you're wearing a cologne, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're wearing a cologne, you would rather someone not smell you or not smell what you're wearing rather than to piss somebody off because you've got too much of it on, okay? So, um, I would say two or three sprays of this depending on your situation, how close you're going to be to people and the weather outside. Okay, uh, as far as the smell, um, it opens up sweet and warm, um, and I like to say spicy. The spices give it some warmth, um, but it's not as spicy like Burberry's London, where you can pick out the cinnamon and the pepper and whatnot. Uh, it's just a very well-blended, sweet, warm scent. Um, now, as it progresses, it, it, the warmth, the spice, um, it kind of dies down, and it becomes a wonderful, beautiful vanilla and musk, which is kind of what I smell on my arm right now. Um, on me, it takes about uh, five to six hours on exposed skin to uh, transition from the, you know, top, which is the warm, uh, you know, sweet, uh, spicy kind of scent, down to the vanillic musk, musk in the dry down. So after that six hours, it's pretty close to the skin. It's not going to project as much as it would before. And it's just this really sexy vanilla smell. And uh, it's, it's sweet, but it's not a gourmand. So don't think Angel Men, Lamal, any of those. This is definitely a spicy, warm fragrance. Not a, not a sweet uh, gourmand type fragrance. Alright, so um, a lot of people when they look at the bottle for this, um, you know, it's kind of cheap. The cap, plastic, blue, it's not, you know, but it's very well made, even though it is sort of cheap. Um, the camera, it doesn't look good on camera, but if you look at it in real life, like, it's got a gold band across here, and if you'll notice, it's kind of cool because it's got a circle around the name here, Opium Porom, and it's got a circle on the back so that when you see it through the cologne, the back circle, um, the one farthest away from you, looks a little bit bigger than the front one. 
which kind of goes along the theme of opium or the you know being intoxicated, being high. Um, this is sort of an intoxicating type scent. Um, when you smell it, it, it's a little bit uh, you get lost in it. You know, it's not an easy fragrance to depict exactly what notes are in. Uh, you know what notes are going through transitions and stuff. It's just sort of, it's very mysterious and um, it's beautiful. Longevity. I've already talked about that. Um, I get about, um, I'll say, eight to ten hours. Um, after about six hours, it's going to turn into the dry down, which is this vanillic musk, um, which is a little closer to the skin. And then a few hours after that, it'll start to die off. So I'm going to say around eight hours is usually what I get. Um, and then, you know, you may get more than that. It's definitely going to last you a whole work day. It's not going to go away before the eight-hour mark. Um, you may not smell it as much, but people around you will. All right, um, as far as value, uh, this is pretty good for the price. Uh, you can get it online for, I can't remember how much this was, I'm thinking it was around 30 bucks, 35 dollars maybe, and uh, for that it is a fantastic value. Uh, as far as bang for your buck, you cannot go wrong with this. It lasts a very long time. It smells very, very good. It's definitely not your normal, typical scent. There's no citrus in here. There's no like florals. It is. It's very far from your average cologne. So if you're if you're into colognes and you're, you're collecting them, this would be a very good one to try. Um, I would not recommend, recommend blind buying this because of uh, how kind of exotic it is. You might not even like it. Um, I could very easily see, as much as I love the fragrance, I love the smell, I could easily see someone not enjoying it. Uh, it is, particularly in the opening, it's it's very mature smelling. I don't particularly think younger people under 20 are going to really love this. Now, you may, if you are like me and you have a few fragrances, so you're kind of, your nose is a little more accustomed to colognes, you may love it, and that's how I am. But don't expect these, you know, teenagers, 18, 19, 20-year-old girls to be all over you with this stuff. Um, it's just they're not going to be, it's going to smell old to them. Um, it's going to smell bizarre and if they don't know you or if they're just coming past you, they might not like it. And in fact, if, chances are, if you have a lot of this on, they're probably not going to like it. They're not going to like the smell because of how powerful and kind of animalic it is. It's, uh, it's not a crowd pleaser. Um, it's not a safe scent, but I still love it, and uh, I'm actually wearing it today. But uh, in moderation, it's, it's just a fantastic cologne. Um, I don't know too much else to say about it, but if you are uh, thinking about purchasing this one, go ahead and try it out. Uh, it's a little hard to find in stores, but if you can get a sample of it, it would be well worth your time because you may love it. Um, but you, I can't guarantee that you like it. Um, you know, you may, I could very easily see somebody disliking this fragrance because of the maturity of the smell. Now, in the dry down, it is a little, it's just vanilla musk. I can see that's probably going to be okay with about anybody, but the opening is a little bit raunchy and kind of powerful. So, uh, that's my review of Opium Pour Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, thank you for watching YouTube. Stay tuned for more videos.